What do I want my lifestyle to be like? Hi, this is Mark Clayton coming to you from my home office in Bothell, Washington with your ECNM Lifestyles Daily Minute. And if you've been following along, this is the seventh video in the last video as well in our series where I ask you to sit down with some paper and brainstorm. On this last video, ask yourself the question, what do I want my lifestyle to be like? And so with that, what do we mean by lifestyle? Because, you know, obviously swingers who use that term in describing, you know, it's the lifestyle. Well, that's not what I'm meaning here. For your lifestyle, you know, with ECNM Lifestyles, we focus on increasing your abundance, your liberation, and your freedom in five areas. Your health, fitness, and recreation, your love life, your sex life, your relationships, and your lifestyle. A lifestyle then encompasses, you know, what do you want in the way of your, your material possessions? What do you want in the way of your experiences that you have in your life? What do you want in the way of income for your life? And things of this uh, nature, you want to start to ask yourself and question and brainstorm and make it as clear as you can to get it written down on paper, you know, and don't worry about writing just a bunch of stuff down, but ask yourself, what do I want for my lifestyle? Now, one of the things here I want to talk to you about is focus on really what makes you happy. You know, too often we think about material possessions because we live in a material consumer driven world which just tells you that you've got to be out there buying this stuff to be happy and that could not be farther from the truth. What I find is that real happiness comes from simplicity and not having so much stuff that your stuff begins to weigh you down and actually become a burden in your life. And so think about then, you know, what kind of lifestyle you want. Personally, um, I would want a lifestyle with less stuff. You have a minimum amount of stuff. It, the stuff that I have needs to serve a really good purpose in my life. But then to have a lifestyle where I'm free to enjoy and experience things with friends and other people that I enjoy having in my life. You know, that means a lot of travel, that means, you know, going out for coffee and, and going out for some meals and just going out on little getaways for the day or for the weekend. And so it means having the freedom and the, the, the ability to really totally enjoy your life because you've got a little bit of money, you don't have to be spending all your money on car payments and house payments or rent and all the things that you then go out and buy. You don't need to spend money on a lot of stuff. That's personally for me. And so I find that the lifestyle that makes me happiest is a lifestyle with less stuff, not more stuff. And so as you sit down and, and think about for yourself, what is it that I want for my lifestyle? Just think about what makes you happy. You know, if it's getting together with your friends, is that really makes you happy, then you should do more of that and increase that. And if you're getting together sexually with friends makes you happy, then you should do more of that and increase that. If traveling and going on trips makes you happy, you should be doing more of that. But so often we just get caught up in the trap of our commercial world and material world where we just keep buying stuff. Stuff that after six months, after you bought it, or a year after you bought it, it doesn't serve any purpose. Take a look at the stuff that you bought last year, a year ago. You know, think about it. What all did you buy a year ago? And does that stuff still serve a purpose in your life today? Or is it stuff that now just kind of hangs around and it's just stuff? And so when you think about what you're going to buy in the future, don't think about buying more stuff. Instead, think about a lifestyle where you increase your experiences and the enjoyment that you have and increase the things in your life that truly make you happy. And it's not the stuff that makes you happy. It is the people that make you happy and the things that you do and experience with those people. And for me, that includes a lot of travel or just getting out for a one-day trip or a weekend getaway. You know, and, and the more friends that I can incorporate along with that, then the happier I seem to make myself. I hope you'll focus on asking yourself that question. What do I want for my lifestyle? And you'll think about what will make you happy. So if you want to know more about ECNM Lifestyles, go ahead and click on that link. And thanks for stopping by today.